I just woke up <laughs> and to to do this intro video for this mega entry. So well, uh, last week was quite a bit relaxing social media planning week for me because well, gotta announce it right here. The um, my other show, on Focus Friday, is about to end. So it's down to its final two episodes of season one. All right, I almost forgot. So again, yeah, well, obviously, so that'll uh, that season will end in uh, two weeks. Now, onto this, uh, onto this uh, mega entry. It's quite a few. All right, it's not as long. This uh, this mega entry is not that uh, it's not that long. So just keep on watching, and you might learn something. All right. Welcome to the diaries. So I can live stream uh, entries to the full tab diaries. So Mitchell. <laughs> Medyo naninibago ako ngayon because uh, it's my first time actually to live stream from my new mobile phone using Streamlabs. Alright, so bear with me guys. <laughs> bear with me. So, well, Sunday is actually uh, YouTube day for me. So I get to be, I get to be active on, on YouTube. Comment, like, of course watch. Right. I was actually uh, listening to a binaural beats uh, video, and uh, I decided to hold that for a while so that I can so that I can try to live stream it now. You know, come to think of it, sometimes you you, you gotta try to experiment. You, to, you won't. But so it's concentration. Oh, 
by donations you need. <clears throat> the power of Bluetooth is so overwhelming. I got Bluetooth I got Bluetooth earphones right now. Well Bluetooth is uh, it's a huge productivity saver. Okay, based on my my current experience with it. Alright. I'm listening to I'm listening to audio right now. Every time I um, produce content, especially right now it's social media planning week. So I have to be focused. Or when I was in college. Uh, yeah, when I was in college, I used to, well, I used to, of course, listen to audio. I start reviewing for, ex I start my study time at 2 a.m. All right, 2 a.m. So the one thing that, can, that will keep me awake is audio. And at the time, I, uh, rock music <laughs> is what keeps me awake. Now, with the advent of uh, Bluetooth, I can now listen to audio even when I'm away from my laptop. Okay, I don't have to. Well, I don't have to pause the music just to do something else outside of my room. I don't have to do that because Bluetooth keeps me listen keeps me listening. Okay. What am I what am I driving at? Well, simple. You have to find ways. You have to find ways to make yourself productive while keeping your sanity intact while you're doing it. All right? Productivity is nothing if you're not in your right senses. Okay? So, I don't, I don't know why other, um, <clears throat> other people would resort to, to drugs, right? To alcohol, to what else? Um, sometimes listening to negative listening to the news <laughs> wala bang uh, teka meron bang positive news ngayon i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so so you don't have to resort to um those things just to either be productive or just to stay positive all right there are so many productivity hacks and, uh, well, what you call, what I can call sanity hacks, okay? To keep you emotionally stable during, uh, your most, uh, during your most hectic time. So, Bluetooth contributed to, to my productivity and to my emotional stability. Or to my sanity, alright? To my sanity. Even though I can, even though I am, uh, I'm on a tight schedule. Every last week of last full week of the month, I don't feel, I don't feel that much pressure. As long as I can listen to my audio, All right? So, you guys should try Bluetooth. Okay. Now, if you're apprehensive about Bluetooth, don't be. Apprehension is. A, um, it's a byproduct of the fear. Okay, don't fear technology. Okay, Bluetooth is a certified productivity hack. Thank God for Bluetooth. I am currently here at uh, my favorite Japanese restaurant. See the logo right there <clears throat> because this morning uh, it's been uh, it's one of, I've been through one of the most hectic mornings uh, of my life right 
I started editing the um, uh, one episode of Advocacy Friday uh, this morning and uh, sort of had a sugar rush at the same time because yesterday I well I ate a considerable amount of carbs okay so I felt that this morning I felt that this morning but anyway it's uh, it's gone now and I also needed a breather because well I just couldn't uh, couldn't get the timing on some parts of the episode that need to be edited so uh, my heart was starting to it kanina so uh, I just uh, accompanied my mom and sis right now of course to uh, and to help my mom uh, apply for SSS pension again okay <laughs> the SSS quest resumes I know okay so I'm taking this as a as a bit of a breather so by the time we're done with the documentation I'll be I'll be back at it again Here's the lesson here. If your heart isn't in it, or your brain isn't in it, take a breather. Right? It helps. Okay? It helps clear your mind. It helps clear your thinking. And right now, well, my thinking is clear right now. That's why I'm making this video. All right? That my mind is clear enough right now, and I haven't eaten my lunch yet. All right. So taking a breather is. Uh, it's a big help, to, well, especially if you're, in a, if you're a content creator like me. Right. Again, well, if, if you feel you're not creative enough, if you feel, if you're feeling uh, burnt out, take a breather. It's that simple. Do it. Then. Do it somewhere else, alright? Not your place of work. Okay. So, I repeat for the last time. If your heart isn't in it, take a breather. Before I get some uh, shot eye officially, I'd like to share with you something. Oh, something that's... Uh, pretty much ignored but it's very useful in 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 this household the paper bag okay <clears throat> well I use this I use this paper bag to um, number one to ripen my avocados all right it's a it's a very it's a very effective way to to nicely ripen uh, whatever, whatever avocados, raw avocados actually. So I can, we can now afford to buy them raw because I get to wrap them in a paper bag. Now there's another use for it. You want to, uh, you want to attend a Halloween party? <laughs> you can, you can make a mask out of this. All right. There's another use. There's another use for it also. If you're um, if you're getting car sick or um, or it's your first time to fly an airplane to to ride on an airplane, you just you just put this out and start vomiting. <laughs> okay. Now, what am I driving at with this paper bag? Tawi ko muna, okay? Simple. <clears throat> Even the smallest things can contribute to your uh, to your betterment as a person. Okay? Kahit supot lang yan, malaki ang silbi sa'yo. O personally, malaki, malaki ang silbi sa amin. Okay? Sa household na to. Now, a paper bag. Okay? A paper bag may be... Uh, mundane so ordinary eh you get you get you catch my drift kasi minsan pagkagamit natin itinatapon na lang natin yan eh. a paper bag although although often ignored 
cont also contributes to the environment. Why? Well, it's practically biodegradable, right? So it doesn't clog it doesn't clog any drainages. It doesn't pollute oceans. Papelche. So it easily melts. Uh, Modern nature does away with it very quickly. Aside from the various uses of it, like I mentioned before. Now, going back to my point. The tiniest details of your surroundings can contribute to your uh, overall development as a person. You being able to see these things, see the good in these things, it strengthens you as a person. Right? Like my mentor Pido Aguilar always said, always see the good in everything. This paperback does a lot of good. Right? Now, the, um, well, I wish, oh, I, I wish that uh, every person in the world sees the good in everything. But no, unfortunately, most of us, most of us see the bad in everything. Okay? Now, it's a good exercise in positivity to, well, grab a, just, to just grab a paper bag and think of its uses. Huwag ka nang lumabas sa bahay mo. Dito na sa sarili mong pamamahay. Sigurado may silbi ito. Okay? Like my mentor always said, always see the good in everything. I, um... I saw another, I saw that, uh, that video on, on TikTok that I made about a, uh, poser alert. Okay. I watched it, uh, a few more times, watched it a few more times and decided, well, not to include it in, uh, as an entry in the phone tab diaries. Well. I don't know if this guy hasn't realized it, but he has he has pissed me off. But that was a few days ago. That was a couple of days ago. And I decided to show him mercy by not including that in the phone tab diaries for my uh for the for the condensed post. Alright. It's a uh, it's a lesson in uh, it's a lesson in mercy. Alright. I've already exposed him on TikTok what he did to me on YouTube. So that would probably be enough. Okay. No matter how ruthless you are, no matter how brutally honest you are, show mercy once in a while. It ain't a uh, it ain't a sin. To, to be human. Alright? It ain't a sin to be human. So, I repeat, no matter how ruthless you are, show mercy once in a while. Life is like a box of chocolates. You may never know what you're gonna get. <clears throat> Now to the um, to the current generation, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But if you saw the movie Forrest Gump, you know, right? Because that quote was from that movie. It's probably the most famous line of that. Yeah, it's the most famous line of that movie. I recently saw Forrest Gump again on HBO, right? After um. 26 years? <laughs> After 26 years, I was able to see it again. I first saw that movie in 1994 uh, in, a, in, a, in a movie theater. Okay? I was fresh from... Fresh from internship. <laughs> so... 
<clears throat> we we close that was I think that was a Friday so I was able to see that movie uh, we closed the clinic at 3 p.m. because every Friday that, that's at Villamor all right Villamor Air Base it had, it, yes it has a PT clinic when during my time as an intern uh, yeah 3 p.m. the clinic's already closed so I invited uh, I even invited a, a friend from UST who visited the visited the clinic to watch the movie with me. So we were able to watch the movie. But before that, I was able to. I went. Uh, I dropped by the nearest record store to buy the soundtrack. To buy the soundtrack. So I bought the soundtrack first, which was a double. It's a double album actually. All right. Then we saw the movie. All right. It was, up to now, it's one of my all-time favorite movies, okay? But, uh, the only thing I understood at that time was the story, okay? It was the story. But, looking back at it and I was, and watching it again, I found lessons, okay? I found, I found very important lessons there. The most important one was how to attract opportunities. All right. So Tom Hanks' character, Forrest Gump, is the town simpleton who eventually became uh, who became a millionaire entrepreneur. All right. Him and his uh, him and his former Vietnam War commanding officer is able to scale the company, but they did not. Uh, they didn't see they didn't see success right away they grinded right they grinded then uh, a hurricane struck all their competitors wiped out they were the only they were the only survivor of that storm so <laughs> so that means it's a huge opportunity now to monopolize the market and they did they were able to get all the shrimp they could fish they were able to scale the business. They only started with just one boat. Then eventually it went became 12. <laughs> an entire fleet. Alright. But aside from that, business-wise, on a personal level, he also attracted the, um, the opportunity to marry the love of his life. Alright. So, killing moment. Okay. Killing moment of the movie. Uh, it was a girl named Jenny. Alright. It was played by Robin Wright. Okay. Oh, by the way, Forrest Gump was played by Tom Hanks, okay? the great Tom Hanks. Okay, one of the one of the best actors, one of the best actors from my generation, from from the generation from my from my movie generation. Okay, he's one of the best. Now, Robin Wright played Jenny, his uh, love interest. They've been madly in love with Jenny ever since they were kids, and he thought of nothing but her. All against all those. Uh, all those points in his life, he was um, he he was uh, ridiculed as a kid. Si si Jenny yung taka pagtanggol niya parate. Okay, outside of his mom, his mom was uh, the mother was played by Sally Field. Okay, another great another great another great actress. Um, he was ridiculed in high school, both uh, in school actually. But he was able to acquire a scholarship at the University of Alabama. He played college football there. All right, the run forest run thing. <laughs> that was that was fun to watch. Uh, he was uh, in I think in that movie he was the um, he became the school's all time leader in rushing yards. <laughs> all right, because they couldn't stop him from running. <laughs> Because the other, because other things could could not just stop him from running. All right, so he was then the Vietnam War came. He was drafted. He fought in Vietnam. That's where he met his best friend Baba, from which came the name of the company, Baba Com Shrimp Company. Then of course his commanding officer, Sir Lieutenant Dan, which is played by uh, which is played by Gary Sinise. He actually won an Oscar for that, in for that role of his. He actually won an Oscar for that, and yeah. Actually, um, he received for uh, for saving his platoon mates, even his commanding officer from certain death. He received the uh, the Congressional Medal of Honor. It's the highest honor of any U.S. private 
any U.S. private c- private citizen. He was able. He the U.S. government uh, awarded him that. Amongst all the achievements he had, the business success, he still he still doesn't have Jenny by his side. So yeah, he thought of nothing but Jenny when it comes to his love life. But um, he eventually had a kid with her. Then um, they got married. This was this was around the early 80s. Then Jenny died of what was supposed to be. Uh, if you would, if you would watch the movie very carefully, uh, Jenny died of probably HIV. Because it's 80s, you know, early 80s. All right, HIV uh, hasn't been fully a fully blown news item yet. Pumoto ang balita nito. Okay, in real life, ah, pumoto ang balita ng AIDS at HIV nung namatay si Rock Hudson. Okay, Rock Hudson was diagnosed with AIDS. Dun nalaman. That's when that's when the AIDS scare began. Pero uh, in the time in the timeline of the movie, hindi pa they're still keeping it under wraps. Okay, so Jenny died of HIV. Okay, then they had a uh, a genius of a son, which is played by Haley Joel Osment, a very young Haley Joel Osment. Okay, remember the Sixth Sense? He was the kid there. <laughs> he was the kid there. He was uh, now he's he's Forrest Junior here in Forrest Gump. So when Jenny passed away, so the responsibility of raising their son fell to Forrest Senior. So that that was how the movie ended. Now, here's the well going back to the main lesson of the story: attracting opportunities. All right, Forrest was well. I don't want to say easy going because well, he is a simpleton, but opportunities kept coming to him. He wasn't asking for it. He wasn't asking for it. He was just living his life. Here's what we should all learn from that movie. <clears throat> if you think about it hard enough and long enough, you will get what you want. If you both think and work hard enough, getting what you want is more certain. Okay? This is the lesson of the movie. It's a great lesson in attracting opportunities. I strongly suggest, especially to the current generation, to watch Forrest Gump. Marami kayong matututunan sa piliko lang yun when it comes to life lessons and of course, well, the law of attraction. Attracting opportunities.